What we're showing here today is the integration of the Layer 7 gateway at an enterprise and integrating or extending those applications out into the Amazon EC2 web services infrastructure and how that can be done. The critical piece here is federating the identities that exist in your enterprise up to the Amazon Web Service infrastructure. And the way to do that um, is with the Layer 7 gateways, and I'll show you how. So I'm going to show you on my laptop, which is going to be the enterprise, and then the existing EC2 instances as uh, the applications that we've extended out to the cloud. So if we look at the edge of the enterprise instance of the Layer 7 gateway, I've got my edge of the enterprise service, um, and then there's a policy associated with that. My policy here sets up some auditing and some threat protection. Then I do my authentication. So I'm requiring credentials, and I'm authenticating against the open LDAP that exists in my enterprise. I then go beyond that to grab some attributes out of that. Uh, user store. So I'm grabbing, grabbing the attributes rank and clearance out of that store. And then I create my, my SAML token, attach it to the message, and send it up to the application that exists up in the EC2 cloud. On the other side, up in Amazon, uh, this is my, this is my instance of the layer 7 gateway that exists up there. Um, it's going to do the enforcement now. So it's going to enforce the fact that there's a SAML token. Uh, now that the structure's there and it's valid, it's been changed, but also we're going to go ahead and issue a trust. So the, the certificate that signed it, we're going to run through a trust store. So it's only valid if it comes from certain locations. In this case, it's my A gray enterprise. Then beyond that, I can then go and check out some of those attributes that exist in that assertion, look for the clearance, and make sure it's over a certain value or a threshold. If it is, I then go ahead and send it on up. If it's not, I get into my error handling. I, re I return a soap call. So let's see how this looks when we're running. I go to a, an existing request. I have my username and password I'm going to send in. I go ahead and make the enterprise call. I get the valid data back. So it took my request, authenticated me against my uh, enterprise repository, pulled my attributes out, created SAML token, sent it up at EC2, enforced that there was SAML there, enforced that it was signed by my enterprise, pulled out the attribute, compared the value, everything was fine, sent it into the service, gave me back to the spot. So if I do it from another user like Spock, everything should be working fine as well. He's a valid user, valid password, and he has the right uh, attribute. If I do it from someone like Jay Farrell, to valid user, valid password, wrong attributes, I get my error handling situation here, right? My clearance level is not sufficient for the service I was calling. To look at the, uh, the details of what was going on, I can go up to the EC2 instance and look at what's going on here. I can look at my successful request that came through from Jay Kirk and Spock. I can then also look at the error one that came through from Jay Farrell as well. Um, if I want to look at the request and response that came in, I can actually see the SAML request that came in. There was some sort of other issue that came in there. Also available to me as well is monitoring. So I can monitor the messages that go through the system, what my rates are, response time. I can look at successful ones. I can look at uh, errors. That, that happens, so if I look at this edge of the error, there's an error with this selected service. So it gives you monitoring, federal identity, extending your applications out into the enterprise, out into the, out into the Amazon EC2 from the enterprise.